Penn State offensive line coach Phil Troutwine, he's developed a reputation of building his classes pretty early, and we've got another situation in 2025 where we see that happening. Sean Fitz, uh, publisher of Blue White Illustrated Recruiting Insider, here to tell you all about the latest Nittany Lion. I gave you a head start here on this one. It's an offensive lineman, Fitz. Who did the Nittany Lions grab here in the middle of the dead period in February? Well, happy Super Bowl Sunday, and we hope it's going on Super Bowl Sunday as we record this. Um, but Penn State on the board on the on the interior of the offensive line with Michael Troutman from DePaul Catholic. DePaul, a familiar name for those following Penn State recruiting. Take Juan Roberson's come from there. And Penn State's been in on a bunch of guys from there as well. Um, but Troutman, uh, the latest to join the class of 2025, an interior guy all the way, 6'2", 275. Um, not many rankings out there yet. Uh, three-star prospect by on three. Um, this is going to be a guy that uh, that projects as a center at the next level. So plenty to talk about here because it's one of those names that we probably hadn't tracked the closest over the last couple of months. But uh, good player, really good player. If you put on the mm -hmm. tape, if you've seen him in, in person like I have at, uh, at camp, he's uh, he's a really good player. Yeah, so uh, as we've talked about many times, early in the recruiting cycle, early in this evaluation period. But, um, you know, as you mentioned, only two of the four major sites that influences some of the the rankings here. And just as a clarification, my dyslexia got the better of me. 68th ranked in the national uh, interior rankings, not 86th. So 68th. So uh, 20 spots-ish makes a difference or doesn't make a difference. A three-star prospect and one that I think um, there's another situation here fits where it seems like Penn State buying low on a prospect who is not known but has some pretty good skills, as you mentioned, seeing him up close. And some of these things where you might say a 6'2 offensive lineman, there's more to the story than that, isn't there? I, I think so. Uh, but I will say this. I mean, I was very surprised um, given how Penn State has built its classes, you mentioned early, but also big. Like you yeah. take a look at the size of these guys and he is a legitimate 6'2 and he's done some growing in the last year, which is, you know, encouraging. Um, but at the same time, Penn State hasn't taken an offensive lineman that's under 6'3 since Juice Scruggs in 2018. And Juice was right on that line of being 6'3, ended up at uh, 6'3 at the Combine. So um, you hope Troutman continues to grow because this is not a situation where, you know, there's there's many of those guys floating around. I mean, Sal Wormley looks like the short guy out there. Sal Wormley's yeah. six three and a quarter. You know, he's a, a tad over six three. So uh, Penn State hasn't gone this direction. I will say the the length can counterbalance that. You know, we talk yeah. so much about height, but the, the length is the important thing. And for an interior guy, um, this is a guy that has a pretty good reach um, for a guy that's six two. So I think that's the direction that you go. Um, sort of bucks the trend of the way that Phil Troutwine has done this. And by the way, Phil Troutwine, Michael Troutman is going to just be murder on my vocabulary here uh, for the next couple of years now. But because uh, I've already done that a couple of times this morning. Um, but uh, but Troutman, you know, features that length. So you're looking at a guy that can get out and get uh, get to reach uh, reach a linebacker, reach a defensive tackle um, yeah. from that center position. But I would say the the positional flexibility and the projections may be a little limited to, because of that size. Yeah, and it's something that uh, on the interior, especially at center, those interactions happen so quickly and so up close, you can get away with that. But even Juice Scruggs had a 33-inch reach. That was something where he had almost tackle level length at that center position. And it's it's interesting, like we're talking about Michael Troutman as a center at 6'2", and we just got done talking about the future center at Penn State being Cooper Cousins at 6'6". So, uh, you know, not a type. As much as they had been building a type, here's one that's a, a, an outlier. How did this relationship come together? Uh, New Jersey, I imagine, a New Jersey offensive lineman, Phil Troutwine. Those things seem to go together pretty well, um, despite the fact that maybe they haven't had the success in New Jersey historically. But do you see all of those things kind of coming together uh, in the recent classes? And is this an indication of that? Yeah, I think so. He's been on campus four times in the last, I guess, the last six or seven months. Uh, he came to uh, the mini camp that I was at at the end of July. I thought he looked really good. And again, I, I, I'll be honest with you from, I mean, this is a mistake on my part, but kind of wrote him off because he was 6'2". You look at some of the, the, the clips here, if you're on the YouTube show, that's him going up against DeAndre Cook. That's yep. a pretty good holdup for a guy uh, a year younger than 6'4". Uh, uh, what's DeAndre six four, uh, two seventy something like that. So he can move well. Um, he's got that anchor, that base. Um, the the athleticism is is suitable. I mean, it's not, I don't think he jumps off the chart or anything like that. But uh, you look at what he does, and and you can clearly see center coming from that. Uh, you yeah. you look at the butt 
<laughs> I mean, let's uh, let's be honest. You, when you're taking a look at the center, that's the first place that you always look um, to see how that uh, that anchor can set. He's got he's got one of those uh, one of those big old center butts. So built correctly, uh, you'd yeah, say, he's built, right? He's built correctly, and he's two seventy five too. I mean, he's not yeah. uh, he's not carrying a ton of bad weight or anything like that. He will have to shape up when he gets uh, to the to the next level. But I think he's you know on on pace to to be a a prototypical center build like and, and i hate saying that because i don't think there is one right. um you there, it's not a one size fits all type of situation but uh you can be six six you can be six two there are guys in the nfl that can make it to that size but he's got a lot uh going against him there you mentioned scruggs reach at about 33 inches trauma's not far off that and that's yeah. uh that's that's the good thing to to look at when you're taking a look at a guy that's uh going to be on the pivot for the next couple of years one of the things I, I like watching his highlight film and I'll be digging into kind of the full game film to see how everything goes is you mentioned his anchor and the way he was pass protecting in some of those huddle high or those, those mini camp highlights. That's really good. Like some of those, the technique there and his ability to anchor, as you mentioned, but also just generally his pad level being at six, two and having, you know, flat back, being able to win leverage on a regular basis, athleticism to reach. I think he's got the building blocks to do everything you need at the position. Even if he doesn't have, you know, that six, five, whatever, whatever you want to put on there as the ideal uh, height for a center. Um, and then this is something else that I think is an interesting conversation of he may develop into a great football player uh, in the next year as a senior. But with that size conversation, this is a guy who might not be a high four star. He might not be a guy that reaches some of those recruiting heights that we've seen, even if he is a bit of an under the radar, underrated prospect that we think has has good traits to translate to that position at the next level. Is, is that a fair way to characterize that? Yeah, no question. I mean, I don't. I don't think this is going to be a guy that that ends up in the on three hundred or something like that, just because the size is going to hold him back from the ratings. And like I said, you can make it, but there's more working against you at that size than than anything. So, um, I, I agree with that. I, we got him as an eighty seven right now, which is, you know, I think it kind of says a lot about the kind of player that he is. That he yeah. is limited by that size, but he also has a pretty good ranking. Um, just from talking to people that have seen him play live, it's just that, that this thing that you keep coming away with is is a good solid player. Like, is, is he going to be the guy that's projected as a first round pick eventually? Probably not, but, uh, he's a, he's a good solid football player. So I'm curious to see what his development looks like in the next couple of years, because I, as I said, is buck the trend of what Penn state has, has done under Phil Troutman. And then even before that, like, mm -hmm. like I said, going back to 2018 for juice Scruggs, and there, there aren't too many short guys before that either. So, um, it's going to be something where he's going to uh, have to work his way into it. I've heard good things on that, uh, level in terms of getting him in position to go and you know it, it doesn't hurt to pick up somebody from from north jersey from one of the uh, uh the schools up there that uh, penn state has had success at some has had not so much success at others so we're gonna see how this helps in in new jersey as they continue to try and you know fortify what, what they've started there yeah and just kind of underline what you're saying there some of the things you see on film um, you can't do those things unless you're a locked in player that wants to get better and has all the building blocks of, you know, I guess the things that make a Penn State prospect, the typical Penn State prospect, what it is as far as a guy that has high effort, you know, James Franklin's high production, low maintenance sort of situation. I don't, you know, I'm not saying anything about his personality, but from the on-field production, looks like a guy who is dialed in and wants to be great at football. So all those things are kind of like an intangible thing that can help him as well. But let's take a look, zoom out a little bit, see what Phil Troutwine has done so far. Sneaky prospect Brady O'Hara, part of the offensive line, six foot six. Owen Alessini, six foot seven, another gigantic offensive lineman. But none of these guys are necessarily those four-star guys or those high four-star guys, even in the initial rankings where you've had some of them crop up early. Um, so I guess what's your take on this particular class of offensive linemen um, compared to what they've been doing recently uh, on the offensive line, which has been pretty exceptional in terms of getting high-quality guys and high-quality frames into the program? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a different, I don't want to say different approach, but it's different the way that they've uh, they've come to, to fruition here. Uh, Brady O'Hara's got a couple of four-star rankings out there. Um, so that's, you know, one thing to look at. And that's just a complete crapshoot in terms of projection right. right there. Like as a high school tight end that you're thinking has all the traits to play offensive tackle. So you hope that maybe that that's one thing to shake out. I will say, Owen oh, Alessini, I, I like him a lot. Like I yeah. think he's, I think he's probably my favorite so far of the three guys. Um, because he's got that athleticism, seen him in camp, done a really nice job, and, and he's got that legitimate. I mean, no, no, not saying anything about anybody else, but six, seven and a half. I mean, that's uh, that, that's real. So yeah. that's uh, 
that's a guy that I could see rising in the rankings. Um, the other two are going to be different style projections, I would say. Uh, one guy interior all the way, one guy tight end going to offensive tackle. So uh, Phil's checking off a lot of bingo card spaces here, I and mean, he's all over the board right now. So uh, we'll see where they continue to go at guys like Malachi Goodman, the offensive tackle from New Jersey. Michael Carroll, of course, very important. Uh, Zaire Addison was just up uh, from Florida. Uh, Max Buchanan is probably going to take an official visit. So there are names out there, um, it's, but it's a, it's, a, it's a different look than what we've seen in the last couple of cycles. We'll see how all of that plays out. Of course, if you're watching here on the Blue White Illustrated YouTube channel, great time to remind you, get the inside access and all this stuff. Get the knowledge ahead of time by joining bluewhiteillustrated.com. Two months for a dollar. If you're listening here, uh, we love uh, the people that support us. Uh, here on the YouTube channel, and we want to give you a little extra something special. You get an extra month for our dollar introductory deal with code PSU1. And as always, subscribe to bluewhiteillustrated.com to get all the information. You can do that right now. Like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss breaking news when the Nittany Lions get a commitment because we're in the middle of the dead period, and that does not mean that things are dead. It doesn't mean things aren't going on. There's been two commitments so far during the dead period. Uh, three actually fits right. Like there's there's been three. It's been three uh, in the last week, yeah. So they've uh, they've added a couple of guys, and then they top it off on the Super Bowl Sunday with Michael Troutman. Yeah, and, and uh, Ryan's spring... on vacation, so you know that's kind of how that works. <laughs> and uh, and uh, spring football's just around the corner, so great time to get locked in with Blue White Illustrated. I'm Thomas Frank Carr. He is Sean Fitz. We will be back with the next breaking news here on the Blue White Illustrated YouTube channel.